Thanks for this. It won't be long today. Now, you'll be good for Zach and Lisa, Jamie. Oh, of course he will. What, you look? Mm, you can help Debbie pack. <laughs> You've got to make your final goodbyes. You could say that, yeah. Will you do me another favour, Lisa? Of course. We have the kids ready to leave as soon as I get back. Mm. You don't want any emotional scenes. That's right. Not here, anyway. Do us a favour before you beg her off for good. I'm late for my shift because I left. Oh, how are you going to manage without me? <laughs> get in. <laughs> See you later. See you, love. Hey. Oh, come on, mummy. Oh, yeah. So this is it then? Yeah. Apart from a bit of unfinished business I need to sort out. I think we've dealt with ours. Come here. I'm really glad that we've managed to put things to rest. Yeah, me and all. You're not the easiest woman I've known, but you're. Ready? Yeah. I don't know why Zoe's wasting time with her. Maybe she's making sure she's on her way for good. Looks as if she is. Well, that's an extra special present for all of us. Yeah, too right. Maybe I'll go and wish her bon voyage. No, she's not worth it. If there's anything, anything at all that you need to know. Zoe, you know. Yeah. Looks like Charity Dingle's leaving. I know. I'm going to miss Debbie. If things had turned out differently, she'd have been my foster daughter by now. I might even have adopted her. It would have been very different. Shame. She's a nice kid. What does she ever do to deserve parents like that, eh? Still, we can't choose our parents, can we? Parents can't choose their children either. Right, I'm off to blow the week's takings on something gorgeous. Ooh, a lovely. Bit of retail therapy. <laughs> You're the one who needs therapy. If there's anything you need to know about Noah's Trust Fund, you'd... contact the solicitor. Thanks. Good luck, then. Yeah, you and all. Don't take her. Don't take Debbie. You can't even say it without one of them in your hand, can you? Please. I don't have time for this. I made a right mess of things, all right? Oh. Well, tell me something I don't know. I'm not the only one, am I? Difference being, I'm going away to make a fresh start. How many times you said that? Yeah, and how many times have I been suckered big time by wasters like you? Look, she's my flesh and blood. Yes, yeah, she's mine too. That's what I'm saying. She's our daughter. Oh, don't you dare our daughter me! Yeah, well, me not saying it doesn't alter the fact, does it? She's coming with me. Right? She's chosen to come with me. End of story. Well, let me come, then. Let me come with you. Here, love. All nice and pressed for you. You're excited and sad at the same time. I can't get excited and I feel worse than sad. Oh. I'm sure you have a great time with your mum. You're more like sisters, aren't you? But well, she's still my mum, though. Oh, I know. And my dad will still be here. Or maybe it's for the best. He's not as hard as he makes out, Lisa. Oh, I know, love. I know he loves you, too. Why is it me that has to decide? I spent the first bit of my life dumped with someone, then stuck with foster parents. Well, Paddy and Emily were great, weren't they? Well, any kid like me could have wanted. So I found out my real mum and dad were up the road. I wish I never had. Hey, I know they squabble. But that doesn't mean they don't love you. They both think the world of you. They think the world of themselves. They only want me so the other can't have me. No matter how bad it makes me feel. Why would I want you to come? For Debbie. What, so she can watch us tear each other apart? Well, we could change. I doubt I could, and I'm damn sure you couldn't. I could. For Debbie. If you and Sadie hadn't interfered, I'd be living up there by now, married, wouldn't I? Over the wall from Zach and Lisa, and then Debbie would have the best of both worlds. But no, you have to go and mess everything up, don't you? If I did anything, it was so you didn't marry Tom King. All right? I own up. Maybe if you'd listened to me, you wouldn't have ended up with Chris Tate either, eh? <laughs> and where did that get you? The only good thing that's come out of all of this is that I've not ended up with you. If I never see you again, it'll be too soon. Well, go on, clobber me. 
make things a lot easier. Speeches, Dad. Never mind that. I paid for the ale and the pies, so if I can't sound off now, it's a poor do. Right, come here, son. Come on, hey. Hey. Come on, don't be embarrassed. No. Not many years before this young fellow was born, the backside was hanging out of me trousers. Well, not anymore. No, it's not anymore. But worse than that, when I was a kid, the others used to take the mickey out of me. It was those kids that made me decide that when I grew up, my kids, that's you lot, wouldn't have to put up with anything like that. And we appreciate it, Dad. Funnily enough, it's recent events with Charity Dingle that have put everything back into perspective. She's history, Dad. But she made me realise some things are more important in this life than a glamorous young wife. That's family. And for me, that's my boys. And your lovely daughter-in-law. He's already said that, Jimmy. Of course, there's Max here. It was a bit of a disappointment, having taken up a profession messing about with animals. As far as I'm concerned, animals are for eating and chasing. Four boys. And the one that's had the roughest ride was Jimmy. He never had the educational advantages that you lot had. Well, that's because he's thick. <laughs> <laughs> and I must admit, that more than once, I didn't think he was up to it. But we got there, didn't we? In the end, you and me. And in a way, it's your achievements of which I'm most proud. I thought it was Mum. You know, hang on, just... Hold on, come here. I'm not going to give you any grief, all right? That's a first. Yeah, I know. I, I just... I just want to say something. So I'd like to propose a toast to my firstborn. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jimmy. Seen everyone so chilled. Oh, yeah, that's us. One big happy family. Do you think I'm part of it now? Yeah, of course. Especially as you're carrying the latest edition. Ladies and gentlemen, and Carl, can I have your attention, please? Oh, not another speech. Button it, Junior. I'd like to propose a toast to... Uh, to the lovely lady in my life. Well, don't forget about mine as well. Hey, take it easy, the pair of you. You're making Matthew and Max feel inadequate. <laughs> Please raise your glasses to our lovely ladies. Our lovely ladies. ladies. Well, I'm very honoured. If you don't get the hell... What? Just get out of here! Oh, don't be cruel, Jimmy. At least let her do a floor show first. That is what you do, isn't it? Perform for money. What have you come here for? I'm here because I've got a few things I need to say. To Ollie, actually. But most of all, you, Tom. You really think anything you've got to say would be of interest to us? You won't know till you've heard it, will you? I don't know what your game is. And I don't want to know. But if you've come here to ruin a special occasion for me and my family, you've succeeded, OK? Now, if you've got any decency, or self-respect, you'll leave now. It's because I've got some self-respect that I came here. And because I believe you deserve the same, Tom. <laughs> I think you showed your true colours at the wedding when you got caught out with Cain, love. Dreamt-up apologies are not going to wash, Charity. I'm not here to apologise. I've done out wrong. I've been a victim here too, Tom. Yeah, some crazy delusion. Believe me, you weren't the only one who got hurt. Only because you got caught out. Oh, you really are a self-righteous little bitch, aren't you? You lay off her! 
Come in here and sounding off like a fishwife is going to do you no good whatsoever. See, Tom, this is what you escaped from. No wonder your husband couldn't wait to go and have an affair with me. What? Don't tell me you're surprised. She's making it up. Of course she is, Jimmy. Anyone can see that. You're like a rat in a corner, aren't you? Determined to destroy anything that's decent. Anything that you can't be a part of. Do you really think I believe that my husband would lower himself to go with a common streetwalker? You finished? You have. Go on, get out. Yeah, all right. One last thing, Sadie. Did you, uh, notice that there was a necklace of yours missing? Diamond one. You probably nicked it. No, I didn't. Jimmy did, though, didn't you? I don't know what she's on about. She's cracking up! You can't have forgotten already, surely. The one you had to sell to pay me off to keep me quiet. That wasn't enough, though, was it? And this, boys and girls, this is only part of it. That's what the 10K was for. What 10K? Tell me she's lying, Jimmy. It's obvious. Tell me you never went with her. Tell me she's lying! Tom, make him tell me it's not true. Well, because if it is, Jimmy, it's not just your wife you betrayed. You and Charity were finished long before. Sounds like a yes to me. Don't be so smart. Paired notes, did you? No. But you were ten times better. Oh, you twisted! You went with her. You went with that! Oi! You're despicable! I made a mistake. I had a fling. What's the big deal? Shelling out that much money for starters. Yeah, but this is only part payment, darling. I can't believe you let her blackmail you. Oh, well, you're bright, aren't you? Yeah, over a hundred grand, wasn't it? Still, what's peace of mind worth? Well, that obviously did the trick. So you just handed over the money? It's my money! Is it? You shelled out a hundred grand? More. It'd take five years for our bin men to earn that. Longer. Humping garbage. That's what he was doing. Do you see anybody laughing, Matthew? So you get caught playing away from home and you hand over all that. What's wrong with bunging Sadie a bunch of flowers and some chocolates? Because I'm not that cheap. Which you, Jimmy King, will find out to your cost. All right, I'm a stupid, gullible fool, but I'm not the only one. Dad. I'm sorry. That is not enough. Look, Tom, I never went with You don't count anymore! Just listen to me for one minute. None of this would have happened if you'd have believed me when I said I never slept with Kay. After that, get out! This spineless lot won't do it. I will. Come I'm on. not going anywhere. Get her out, man. I want you to see this tape. Get off me, Matthew. I need you to see this tape, Tom. Because I want you to see her for what she really is. And then I will go, all right? Then I'll be out of your life for good. All right. Oh, Charity, please. Get off oh. me! Jerry! Just move. So, rather than what you used to, then, eh? <laughs> no contest. I reckon Sadie gets more out of counting her shoes. Yeah. How could you? That and uh, seeing other people put down. How could Still? you? How could you? Sadie, there you are! Stay! Chloe, go with her. Don't you fancy oh. a drink or something? <laughs> You all right? Oh, get lost. Look, I know you're upset, but take no notice. She's just a talent. Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? What's that supposed to mean? You'll be the next one with your pretty little snout in the king's trough. Hmm. Like you, you mean? I, I, I don't mean No, that. no, I know you mean like her uh, setting me up with Keen. Shady! Get in here now! Getting some stupid, creepy photographer to take pictures of us to make it look like we're together. I think that might well be the biggest turn on she's ever had. Ruined my life, basically. What have you got to say for yourself? Tom, I. I never meant. You spiteful, manipulative. I treated you like a daughter better than that. And you do that to me. Humiliate me in front of my family, my friends, people who work for me, in the eyes of the whole village. 
Stupid old fool, Tom King. I'm not content with that. You engage the services of Kane Dingle, the biggest psycho on the planet. How did you persuade him? Offer him sexual favours? No! What do you think I am? Well, we all know what you are now, Sadie. Anything, as long as she's the one in control. You're full of life, you know. Don't take no rubbish. Tell her. You're beautiful. What Dad won't be proud, eh? You're only saying this so I don't go with Mom. Maybe. Truth is, Debbie, I can't stand the thought of losing you. And before you start, I'm not trying to get one up on your mum, all right? I love you. And I don't want you to leave. But that's my problem, not yours. Of course it's my problem. If it makes it any easier, if I were in your shoes, I know what I'd do. What? I'd go with her. A new life. She's never short of a few, Bob. I couldn't care less about the money. You'd have a right laugh the purr at you. All you get from me is aggravation. You hate a dad. <laughs> you know when I said, uh, the only thing that mattered to me in the old world were you? I lied. What again? She does too. You can't see her without bad mouthing her. She gives as good as she gets. Maybe that's why... That... Why I love her. And why I asked her if... if I could go away with her, with a purrier. No, you didn't. When? Today, earlier. What did she say? No chance. Not a chance in hell. You know, Dad, if you really love Mum, you wouldn't have set her up with that bag, Sadie. I didn't want her to marry Tom King. Is that so bad, eh? Well, why don't you just tell her straight? I'm being straight with you now. I reckon we could have all been happy, you know? Away from here. It's not going to happen. I hope you're satisfied. Pretty much, yeah. I'll kill you. <laughs> you won't be the first to try, would you? Listen, you lot, don't be too hard on him. I mean, I've only shown you what you've already known for a long time. He's a sucker. Yeah. I mean, marrying Sadie. Case closed. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You are. You and him. You planned this together just to get me out. <laughs> I don't believe you. All I've done is protect this family. You're the one who messed up. I warned you not to interfere. But you knew what she was up to. I knew she was up to something. For your sake, Tom. Only for you. Don't even begin. I've been a more loyal member of this family than any of them. I have never let you down or tried to take over your position. <laughs> you really are the limit. I had to stop you marrying Charity to show you the truth. The truth? Oh, what, like you pretending you couldn't have children? What's that? Her telling Jimmy she couldn't have kids. And all the while, she was having some jabber for private consultants so she didn't have a baby. You told her that? Yeah, grandkids went on the cards for you, Tom. You evil cow! Oh, sorry, Tom! <laughs> right, well, I'm sorry about leaving the party early, but, you know, I've got things to be getting on with. Oh, I hope you don't think I'm being rude. Happy birthday, Jimmy. You can keep the tape. Something you can all remember me by. Especially you. Now, just you be careful what you wish for in future. You wanted me to have an affair, so I had one. Told you I'd bring you down, didn't I? I was the only one you could have relied on, Tom. You'll regret this, you bitch! Shut her up, someone. Charity! <laughs> Charity! I'm sorry, Tom. I had to do it. You gave me no choice. I know! How could you believe them over me? I'd have been a fool if I didn't think twice about them vultures. 
Look, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I was very wrong. We were going to be married, Tom. I don't think I've ever been happier than when you said yes. Now, I know what people were saying, but they didn't matter. I knew that if I hadn't got a bob or two in my pocket, you'd never have looked at me in the first place. It was never just that. No, I know. Of course, I know that now. I believe that you and me were right for each other. Well, you shouldn't have stopped believing then, should you? I haven't. Look, now... Now that you've shown them up for what they are, can't you see? There's nobody can get in the way anymore. Please, Charity. I'm begging you. Stay with me. Be careful. Sorry. You know I did it for the family, Max, don't you? I don't think Dad entirely appreciated your efforts. And how much have you contributed to this family? Oh, don't you ever give up, Sid. Give up on you, you spineless wimp. Hey, should we play a bit more? What? No, we should not. Why? You need to ask. I can't believe you jeopardise everything that Dad and me have built up. Dad and you? I was humping scrap onto trucks with him while you were still fannying around at school. Yeah, you're probably best suited to that. I'm sorry, Sadie, but unless I've misunderstood all of this, didn't you kick it all off by torpedoing Dad's wedding? Thank you. Someone on my side at last. That's right. All stick together. But ask yourselves one question. Why did I do it? Because you're sick. Because I didn't want her to do to Tom what she did to Christopher Tate. I give you everything you want. That's not why I'm here, Tom. And even if it was, do you think that lot would really stand by and let you? They don't count anymore. Not Matthew. Max, Carl. We shouldn't sort something out with them. No. No, not after what's gone on. Why? Why not? Because everything I have ever done from the age of 13 upwards has been on account of some man or other. I'd treat you better than any of them. I know you would. I'd look after you. And hey, I'm not going to be here forever, you know. Don't say that, Tom. Oh, it's the truth. But I'd make sure that you and the kids would never want for anything ever again. You make me happy. Me too. <laughs> then let's do it. We don't have to stay around here. I'll come with you if you like. <laughs> me and you living out of a suitcase with two kids in tow. It wouldn't be like that. We could buy some place. Somewhere like you've always dreamed of. Overseas, if you want. A villa, anywhere. Just imagine what it'd be like for Debbie and Noah. You're serious, aren't you? I love you, Charity. And I want... I still want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, hey, Poppet. Can you take me with you? All right, that's about it. <laughs> Been sent her out of them pigs. I've been talking to my dad. Same thing. Shut up, Chaz. What's she been saying now? He don't want me to go. Yeah, well, he should have thought about that a long time ago. I'll go and have words with him. No, Grandad, please. He wasn't giving me a hard time. He was saying how much he's going to miss me and how much he loves me. How many offers like that would a girl get, eh? Especially someone like me. <laughs> You'll never be short of offers and all that. I'd be a fool if I thought otherwise. And the kids? I know I could trust you to do what's right for them. <laughs> I'll probably spoil them rotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't do it, Tom. It'll be a clean break for both of us. You'd have everything. I agree with everything you're saying. You're absolutely right. So? But I can't. It's not right for me. You know, I might be totally wrong, and I won't be the first time. Try it, then. What have you got to lose? It just doesn't feel right. And it, it's not because I couldn't love you. But if I've learned anything from all of this, I've learned that I don't need a man. Not you, not anyone. I've got all I need. I've got me two kids. And now I've got enough money to... 
to look after him properly. And I've got the freedom to go where I want, do what I want. You know, for the first time in my life, I feel in control. And I'm excited about my future instead of dreading it. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm really sorry. And if you don't believe me, just ask anyone around here. Ask Zoe, for heaven's sake. You just don't get it. Look, of course I'm sorry that it's come out like this. We're a family, Sadie. Yes, and he's meant to be my husband. What did that count for? Well, if you both can't satisfy each other, that's your problem. Oh, that's great coming from you. Meaning? <laughs> well, the women aren't exactly queuing up down the street for you, are they? Why don't you try your hand with that drag queen who props up the bar at the wool pack? <laughs> Oh! Come on! Come on, Matthew! Right, get your hands off me! Right, get your hands off me! Right, it's already happened! What the old man was seeking you, eh? Back up! Back up! <laughs> My family. Hey, lovey. When you and your mum got sorted out in a nice posh flat, me and his granddad will come and stay, won't we, love? Uh, and me? Yeah, we'd like that, wouldn't we, Zach? Oh, well. I'll get myself for a new cap. White, eh? Somewhat dapper. Oh, that'll be her. Now then, young man, are you going to be sleeping all the way, eh? <laughs> uh, she's all set, love. Thanks, Lisa. Come here. Mm -hmm. Darling, you want to go and strap him in? Yeah. Yeah. Did you manage to tie up all them loose ends, then? Oh, I, uh, I'm well and truly not it. Well, girl, I'm half going to miss you. <laughs> now, here, get some choppers for the lad. Oh, don't say you're sent off. Anyway, it's for the best. Oh, I know. I might have been better off if I'd never pitched up here to begin with. Don't say that. You'd never have ended up with them two. Yeah, no. Oh, go on, you'll have it started. Just you remember, kid. You do it to them before they do it to you, OK? to help. Yeah. Get lost. This is nothing to do with me. I'm not a part of this, am I? That's right. You just went to a fancy school that I pay for and you end up talking like Lord Snooty and nothing's ever to do with you, is it? I didn't ask for any of it. still here. Look, Jimmy's got a lot to answer for. Jimmy? Jimmy is just stupid, but you! See her out, Max! Do it! Right, well, um, I can see this isn't the best time. Priceless! And you can get rid of the rest of them and all. They won't listen to me. Make them. Earn your corn. Do it for your pathetic old dad. <sighs> what we like here, you and me? Some we'll go on then, go and say to her. We'll make it quick. You know Zach's softer than Lisa. Oh, come on, Debbie, darling. We need to be making a move. Hey. 
There's a few people who won't want me getting further than the cemetery. You better go then. Don't put my bags in, Mum. I'm not coming. She likes a little secret, doesn't she? Sadie's just flat stuff. What are you doing? Not that she's much good at keeping them mine. Paul Marsden. You what? I can't imagine Tom went in that uh, little episode to get out, eh? What you say? You know about this. What is this? Well, what difference would it make, then? Act. I'll deal with this. I'm not afraid of this. Go on. But then, if she told me, it was much about to. You forget everything what you've seen, right? It's hardly just some home movie. You heard me. Why are you having a go at me? I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't have anything to do with Paul Marsden's death. I said... You said you'd done nothing wrong. Nothing to harm the family. I haven't. Well, keep it like that, and you can be one of us. Part of it all. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Because if you don't, you're part of nothing. You will be nothing. What's up now? Well, Dad wants everyone to leave. I'll go and see him. He means everyone, Matt. Hey, I know it's a big thing, but once we're on the road, we'll be fine. And at the other end, there's a new life. I know, I know I've not been a proper mum. You're not mum. So come with me then. Hey, it'll be brill. And everything's sorted now. It is totally sorted. He's not. Oh, he's been getting to you, hasn't he? In a way, yeah. I knew it. No, he said that I'd be better off with you. No, he never. He did, and that he wanted to come with us. Debbie, you know what me and him are like. Yeah, I know. So get in, then. You could stay. No. No, I couldn't. And not just for me, but for Noah. I can't have him living with me past, darling. Like me. Come with me, then. I can't. I can't stay here. Please. Debbie, I need you. Please. I can't. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. You have done nothing wrong, right? <laughs> you better get going. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Listen to me. When you decide to come, it's just a phone call. All right? You just look after this one, do you hear me? I want you to take this. I don't want I want to. you to take it. Sun will be shining.